Good morning, everyone. My name is Wei Fan Huang. I come from National Chang'e University in Taiwan. I'm very glad to present our work here. The topic is electrochemical synthesis of adipose nitro with a rotating rod electrode. First, I will introduce the applications of adipose nitro. Adipose nitro, we call it ADN. It is a real material to produce nylon 66. Here are the reaction mechanisms from ADN to nylon 66. And nylon 66 is widely used in car industrial and daily necessity. Its demand continually increase. Therefore, it is necessary to develop ADN production technology. In conclusion, the research on ADN is very important. There are three main methods to produce ADN, and this study focused on the last one, acrylic nitro electrolytic dimerization method in undivided cell. It has several advantages. For example, low energy consumption, high ADN yield, one step production process. Besides, its reactor demand is simple. This is the mechanism for the electrosynthesis of adipose nitro from acrylic nitro, AN. Inside the green circle is the desired pathway. ADN is desired products. PN and trimer are undesired products. Besides, all products need two moles of electron to produce. And one more of PN needs one more of AN to produce. One more of ADN needs two moles of AN to produce. One more of trimer needs three more of AN to produce. Therefore, with more AN, the reaction tends to produce more ADN and trimer. This is the figure about reaction in the electrolyte. Hydrogen will be also produced on the cathode. The electrolyte composed of PBS, QAS, EDTA, AN, and ADN. QAS can be absorbed on the working electrode surface, improve the affinity to AN, then increase N concentration, which help the production of ADN. PBS can stabilize pH value. And EDTA acts as a chelating agent to capture metal ions. This study used the rotating rod electrode, RRE. It is a simple tool that can simulate turbulent flow. Moreover, it can simulate a high flow rate similar to that in industrial. And the left figure is the rotating rod electrode. The orange line, dash line represents the diffusion layer thickness. As the rotation rate increases, the diffusion layer thickness decreases. This was my objectives. I would use rotating rod electrode in this system to study the mass transfer effect at higher flow rate, which was close to the industrial, and also the effect of QAS and AN ADN wet fraction. Besides, part of the result has been published in Journal of the Taiwan Institute of Chemical Engineers. If you are interested, you can download from the website. Then in my experimental system, the working electrode was still was lead. And counter electrode was steady still. Reference electrode was silver, silver chloride. These were my experimental steps. First, clean the working electrode surface. Second, do the electrosynthesis. Finally, have the GC test. Then I will introduce the results. First is about QAS. I use five kinds of QAS, including TMAH, TEAH, TPAH, TBAP, MBAP. These are the structure of different QAS. Most of their structure are symmetrical. For example, TBAP has four carbon on each side. MBAP has four carbon on three sides and one carbon on the remaining side. Regarding QAS part, I did the electrosynthesis at current density minus 0.2 ampere per square centimeter 
as rotation rate 2000 RPM with five different kinds of QIS. And this is the definition of dimensionless times that represent the degree of AN utilization and its assumptions based on 100% AN conversion. Here are the concentration change of ADN, PN, and trimer. TBAP, the black line, has the highest concentration change of ADN and trimer, lowest concentration change of PN. Because QAS with longer carbon chain lengths can attract more AN to the electrode surface than occurs polymerization. This is AN and ADN current efficiency and selectivity of ADN. From the results, the black line TBAP has the best ADN current efficiency and selectivity. Next part, I will have the comparisons between TBAP and TEAH under rotation. Second is the result about rotation rate. As read, the solution separate into upper yellow organic phase and lower transparent aqueous phase. From 0 to 1500 RPM, the solution remains two phase. As the solution rotation rate reached 2000 RPM, the organics was dragged into the aqueous solution and droplet disappears. At 3000 RPM, the, there was no obvious interface in the solution and the emulsion foam. Regarding the rotation rates part, I think the electrosynthesis at current densities minus 0 0.2 ampere per square centimeter from the rotation rate 0 RPM to 3000 RPM with TBAP and TEAH. These figures are the concentration change of ADN, PN, and trimer. The black line is TBAP, the blue line is TEAH. At higher rotation rates, the reaction tends to produce more ADN and trimer. Because higher rotation rates are increased, because higher rotation rates increase AN mass transfer rate, which increase AN concentration near the working electrode. That's the reaction produced more ADN and trimer. Moreover, QAS with longer carbon chain lengths could exclude water and increase AN concentration. Thus, TBAP has better effect in polymerization, and the effect of rotation rate with TEAH was small. Additionally, the rotation rate 3000 RPM correspond to the velocity 1.25 meter per second, which is close to the commercial process of ADN electrosynthesis. The left figure is the ADN plus driver divided by PN more, which means the polymerization degree of the reaction. And the right figure is the more ratio of trimer to dimer. As the rotation rate increase, both of the ratio increase. Because as the rotation rate increase, the diffusion layer thickness becomes thinner, which help AN diffuse to the electro surface for reaction. This is the selectivity of ADN, trimer, PN, and AN consumption. The left one is TBAP, the right one is TEH. In TBAP, the red line PN selectivity decreased dramatically as the rotation rate increased. And the increased degree in ADN selectivity of TBAP combined with rotation rate is higher than that of TEH. Besides the blue line, AN consumption increased as the rotation rate increased because the diffusion layer thickness and diffusion, AN diffusion resistant decrease. Last is the result about AN-ADN wet fraction. Regarding AN-ADN wet fraction part, I did the electrosynthesis as current density minus 0 0.2 ampere per square centimeter and rotate as 2000 RPM with different 
an ADN weight fraction. I fix ADN weight at low as I fix ADN weight as high and low value and change ADN weight. The number one to four was classified as high AN group. The number five to eight was classified as low AN group. As more ADN was added into a solution, the AN ADN weight fraction decreased. First is the result about high AN concentration. These are the molar change of PN ADN and trimer under high AN concentration. As high AN with different AN ADN weight fraction, it seems that the change of ADN did not have any effect on production of ADN. However, higher AN ADN weight fraction produce more trimer. The left figure is ADN selectivity. From the results, the blue line, high AN group with lowest AN ADN weight fraction had highest ADN selectivity. It means that if more ADN was added to the solution initially, there will be higher ADN selectivity. And the right figure is AN conversion. More AN was utilized when AN ADN weight fraction was high. And this is the ADN selectivity for high AN weight as AN conversion equal to 10%, 20%, and 30%. The result implies that adding more ADN initially at high AN weight could let ADN selectivity reach higher value earlier, which means that the time reach the best ADN selectivity decrease. This is the result of current efficiency. When AN concentration fixed as high AN weight, most AN current efficiency was above 90%, which means that high AN concentration could suppress hydrogen generation. Then I introduce another part, low AN concentration. The experimental setup was the same as the high AN concentration. These are the molar change of PN, ADN, and trimer under low AN concentration. These figures are ADN, PN selectivity, and AN conversion. From the results, the orange line, low AN with lowest AN, ADN weight fraction had lowest ADN selectivity highest PN selectivity, lowest AN conversion. It represents that too much ADN as low AN weight could not help the polymerization. Because ADN impede AN diffuse into the electric double layer. Therefore, it results in the increase of PN and hydrogen. To sum up, this were my conclusion. First, Rotating rod electron could simulate turbulent flow. Second, QAS with longer carbon chain lengths could address more AN, which help the polymerization. Second, third, with higher rotation rates, the diffusion layer thickness decrease, and the selectivity of ADN and trimer increase, PN selectivity decrease, AN consumption increase. Fourth, in high AN group, Low AN ADN weight fraction had higher ADN selectivity earlier. Less in low AN group, lower AN ADN weight fraction had pro ADN selectivity and AN conversion. This is my presentation. Thank you for your time and attention. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me.